Hello friends, Doug Fink, 16-time Microsoft MVP. Today I want to take a look at the new OpenAI 01 reasoning model, the full model that they dropped. And we'll talk about price, we'll talk about the pro model, and we're going to take a look at some data and see how well it does. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Let's get this going. So here you see I have a simple CSV file, it has four uh, columns, region, state, units, and price, and it has about nine rows of data. So it's a simple example, but uh, you'll get the gist of what we're trying to do. So I'm going to take this and copy it, and we're going to put it in into ChatGPT, and I'll paste it in. And before I press enter, up top left, you can see I have ChatGPT01 chosen. That's the advanced reasoning model. It's the full model. Uh, you get throttled at uh, this level. I pay 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. Not just for this. Do you, not only do you get these models, but you get a whole bunch of other capabilities and you get to see the uh, bleeding edge and the good edge of what OpenAI is delivering, which all the other providers are trying to catch up to. In here, you also get the 4.0, you get a 4.0 with Canvas. I've done videos on that. And there's the Mini uh, 01, which does, it's faster. Uh, and it has a lot of other capabilities, which we'll talk about in another video. So I'm gonna choose ChatGPT 01. This is not the Pro model. The Pro model, that's 200 bucks a month. That's up for you to spend. Um, that model, that cost depends on the intensity of your the analytics that you're trying to do. If you're doing simple things, 01 will suffice. Uh, probably GPT-40 will. Uh, but if you really want to put complex problems in, like maybe you're solving computational biology, then uh, spending the 200 bucks a month is great. If you're trying to drop in complex spreadsheets and tweak formulas and get results that would take you two, three hours, and 01 Pro can do it for you in minutes, um, it might be worth spending the $200. So anyway, I'm going to use the $20 a month ChatGPT01 model. I'm going to just paste in this CSV file and click up arrow, give it to the model, and then you can see here it's thinking. Thought for a couple of seconds, and it comes back and says, uh, below is a brief analysis of the provided data set. So it already parsed the data. I didn't tell it what type it was, um, and it gave us a nice little view to look at and it came back and started telling us about key observations with possible insights um, standard data science stuff like how many uh, things are in West how many items are in West or how many states in this case uh, you can see there's two right West and up here and then there's another West so correct and then it tells me north and it gives me the details and then it goes ahead and does uh, looks at units and average price does it by region and I'll leave you to do fact checking uh, this should be correct uh, it tells me by state gives me totals gives me average does it by each region and gives me high low gives me overall um, gives me average price overall across nine entries gives me a whole bunch of summaries and that that's pretty good for just pasting in data now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna say something I'm gonna go top three states for units and you can feel free to type in anything you'd like whatever grammar rhetoric you feel comfortable with and it comes back and tells me that the top three straight the th top three states are Texas Maine and North Dakota it sorts them in descending order and then I'll say uh, by price so I'm being very minimalistic in my prompting um, so it knows I'm still talking about states so it comes back and tells me uh, descending order Kansas Texas and Tennessee so uh, I know that's correct but you can double check it notice also it puts in the dollar sign for me which is awesome I can choose to copy this uh, paste it somewhere else but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, need a PowerShell script to read the file and create the results 
and let's see what we get. So it goes back to thinking, and for a couple seconds, it says, okay, so if you're using data.csv, um, you can import CSV, awesome. And then it goes through and uh, grabs the each the units and price, converts it to an int and a double, that's cool. And then it wants to grab the top units, um, top three, right? So it grabs, sorts the object descending, does a select object on the first three, does the same thing about states, and then it prints it out. And then it says, okay, here's how you can do it. And you can even name the file this way. So what I'm gonna do is come back here and copy the code. And let's go to our editor. And I'm gonna drop that in to Visual Studio Code. And let's see if I can do, uh, just gonna grab the sales data directly, just so I know I'm getting it correct. Hopefully I can just do this should work. If not, we will make a change. And this is the code, and I'm gonna run it. And there you have it. So I just dropped my data in. I just dropped the sales CSV into 01. And it did a bunch of analysis. I asked for the top three states by units and price. And then I said, please give me a PowerShell script for it. And uh, almost correct I think it did a couple extra things top three states and I can go back and double check the data um, looks like it might be top three by price and we can double check that to make sure it's correct I just want to do one last thing without running it instead of doing it as a PowerShell let's say uh, I need a I need JavaScript to run let's just try that and we'll just eyeball this. Now, if I'm not comfortable with the results or I see an issue, I can go back in and I can further have a conversation and ask it to uh, make changes or say, hey, this doesn't look right. What do you think? And get the model to work with me. So here I'm in JavaScript. I'm getting, I'm doing some read files. It's reading the data using JavaScript. And again, it's uh, doing its own thing to grab the comma separated values correctly. And then it's doing the top price. It's sorting, doing lambdas, and printing everything out. Now, and it even tells me how to run it and, and try to get an answer. I'm not gonna run that right now. Um, so I'm not quite sure why I got these additional um, pieces, but I will double check that. Anyway, if you have a $20 subscription to ChatGPT, highly recommend checking it out. Um, this is the shape of things to come. Intelligence is getting too cheap to measure. So I'm sure within the next few months, early 2025, uh, 01 full model is going to be available. And this is kind of where data analysis and programming is going. So hop on board and check it out. Thanks for watching.